Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bruh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Amber and today we're back with a new video that is actually highly requested, okay? Um, I know you guys liked my previous blow dry hair video where I tried out this, um, you know, dupe, this Revlon One Step Hair Dryer dupe. And a lot of people asked if I could compare this one with the Dyson Air Wrap, the round brush, okay? So that's what I'm about to do in this video. So for those who don't know, this is a hair dryer that I bought on Amazon for $25 or $29 or something like that. I don't know. It was cheap. If you have not seen my previous video, oh my God, you need to check that video out. The link is here on the screen because girl, you need to know what's so. up. But anyways, this one is a Dyson Air Wrap. It comes with different attachments. For example, also this one. This is my favorite attachment. This is just like a brush attachment. Makes my hair really, really soft and smooth and it's not damaging at all. Um, but it also has this round brush attachment, which I don't really use. And this blow dryer, girl, guess how much this is? This is 550 US dollars. I received this one for free in a PR package like a long time ago. Um, so I'm so happy, but if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have bought the Dyson Airwrap. Okay, because 500, who, who has 550 US dollars to, mm, they, mm, they must be tripping, okay? I think this is way overpriced, but this is the best blow dryer ever. I'm telling you, not this attachment, but this one. I just washed my hair with shampoo. I conditioned my, I deep conditioned my hair in the shower. And now it's time to, you know, blow dry my hair, I guess. One half with this one and one half with this one. This is my hair with no products in. So for this one, I'm going to use some heat protectant because girl, I don't fully trust this, okay? It gets amazing results, but it gets kind of hot and I don't know. Oh yeah, and I'm using the old school IC Fantasia heat protectant, girl. If you don't know this heat protectant, this is a life. Okay, this is my go-to heat protectant for flat ironing and blow drying. So, by the way, I'm timing everything on my iPhone. This was done in 2 minutes and 40 seconds. This section right here. Okay. Wow, my hair is like... Wow love this one so much So I just finished doing half of my head and whoop, stop. This was 13 minutes and 19 seconds to complete half of my head, okay? Now for this section, <clears throat> I'm not going to use my heat protectant for this section because I know this one doesn't give you heat damage um, because it regulates the temperature inside so it doesn't get too hot whenever you're blow drying your hair for a, a, a long time. I used this once and um, yeah, it didn't work out. I really didn't know how to use it. Let me start my timer again. Okay, it took me almost four minutes to do only one section, a small section, um, because you know, I don't really got the technique right of this one, but you know, I'm getting the hang of it now, but still it's, ugh, 
it takes so long so i'm going to do the rest of my hair with this one right now and i'm going to give you guys my end conclusion at the end of the video so you better stay tuned to see which one wins for me Okay, so I'm just going to switch back to my regular paddle brush because this one, I don't think it's, you know, for my hair. Okay, so I finished doing both sides. Um, wait, let me show you guys how long it took to do the Dyson side. It took me 17 minutes and 27 seconds to complete like the Dyson side. And that's because, yo, I had to change in between attachments because this was just, oh my God, this was so annoying. It took forever, like, wow. But okay, I wanna talk about real quick about these results though. Okay, so this is the, um, Revlon dupe side, right? This is the Dyson side. There's a noticeable difference. <laughs> so I wrote down a few criteria and I will give points uh, to which one wins. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is timing. Which one was the fastest? Obviously the, the dupe, the Revlon dupe was the fastest. Um, this one took 13 minutes, this one took 17 minutes because it was just such a hassle to work with this. I really didn't get the hang of it quite. Um, it was a struggle, sections were small compared to this one. I can take, I could take really, really big sections because this barrel is so big. Like I can wrap my hair around it really easily. This one, when I wanted to wrap my hair around it, my hair got stuck, blah, blah, blah. So the next one is safety. Which one is less damaging? Um, you know, I really gotta be honest and it's obviously this one is less damaging. This technology is so advanced that your hair will not get damaged by using this because this is not really hot. It is hot, you know, there's hot air coming out of this thing, but it's not as hot as this one. Okay, so I'm definitely going to give it to the Dyson this time because, you know, this is way, way more safe than this one. I trust this manufacturer way more than the dupe one. Definitely 100% because they are great, like they have great products and this one, I don't know this manufacturer made in china so as far as safety goes definitely going to give it to dyson 100 percent without even thinking about it okay so let's talk about heat now which one gets the hottest and it's definitely the dupe one <laughs> that gets the hottest okay i don't know after a while this is not really pleasant to hold anymore because it's it's getting hot so compared to this one Yo, this thing doesn't get hot at all. Because as I said, the temperature gets regulated every time. Whenever it gets like a little bit too hot, th this thing cools down a little bit. So without hesitating, gotta give it to Dyson for this one, okay? Okay, so now when it comes to grip, which one is the heaviest? Actually, this one is a little heavier than this one, but this one is a little wider than this one. Mm, so this is difficult. It all hurts, you know, my arms hurt after 30 minutes with all devices, so it's not, no. This is a tie, I will give both of them props for the, the grip, okay? Okay, so now when it comes to lower pain level, which one hurts less? I think I'm going for the Dyson because I took smaller sections with the Dyson than with this one. That's the only reason. It pulls a little less on my hair than this one because I'm using smaller sections. So now the next thing is settings, okay? <laughs> Which one has the best settings? And it's obviously the Dyson. Let me show you guys the settings on this dupe hair dryer. So as you can see with this one, there's only an off, low, middle, and high setting. So let me show you guys the settings on the Dyson. <laughs> so we have temperature we have speed and then we have a cold shot and then here we have a thing lock to attach and detach your attachments yeah this is way way better <laughs> way better 
<laughs> way better <laughs> than this one but obviously you know the thing is this is 550 dollars this is 25 dollars what do you expect even like I'm happy that they put settings up in here because if they didn't, girl, nah. Let's talk about durability. Which device will last longer? Definitely the Dyson, okay? I will show you guys in close up. I used this thing twice now and look at the bristles. Look at the bristles. Can you guys see what is going on? especially on the sides, like everything is just in shambles. Maybe these things cannot handle the heat or whatever. I used this today and a previous time when I used this the first time and it looks like this. The bristles are still perfectly in place, okay? There's nothing bad going on or whatever. And even my other attachments, let me show you guys. I think I used this <laughs> about 20 times already and uh, look at these bristles still perfectly in place okay i quickly did my hair in a bun because ooh, it's so hot okay so next up let's talk about the price okay 550 dollars 25 dollars without even hesitating this one wins for sure last but not least the results which results did i like the most and to be honest, I really gotta go with my dupe, okay? These, these results though, like, nah, man, I cannot get the same results with my Dyson. Let's be honest. You guys saw for yourself, my hair gets way flatter in a shorter time with this one. So in the future, if I'm going to flat iron my hair, I'm definitely going to use this one. Yeah, the results are bomb. So yeah, and conclusion, which one wins? Obviously this one. I think, to me personally, are used for different purposes, right? This one I will use if I wanna have like a salon blowout look, which is amazing, like so beautiful. I love the salon blowout look. Um, this one is um, perfect for that, okay? This is $25, I can rock like semi straight hair, I don't know if I want to go somewhere or a wedding or a party or wherever. I want to rock like the blowout, beautiful blowout look. This one will be my go-to. Okay, for sure, without even hesitating. And then this one is great if you, you know, if you blow dry your hair a lot, like I mean a lot, lot, and you want something that doesn't damage your hair at all, this one is great, okay? I'm not going to lie, this one is great because it's safe, it's durable, it doesn't heat up very fast, um, but it still gets your hair straight in a short period amount of time. Um, it does the job well. There are different attachments, like there are a lot of plus points about this one, but the only thing that's just, you know, ruining and everything is the price, okay? <laughs> yeah so yeah these ones are used for different purposes but yeah i'm still going to use these both like i love them both on their own way so yeah that was a comparison of these two hair dryers that you guys really wanted to see so i really really hope this video was informative and let me know down below which results did you like the most which one would you buy I would love to know, girl. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. You guys know that. Hmm. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.